What should you eat in order to reach your goal? For centuries, there have been many different opinions on the right approach for your nutrition when it comes to either cutting or bulking, but it's really quite simple. Calories. The first big question is, how do you even work out how many calories you should be on? Well, the best way to start is by using a BMR calculator. I'll drop a link in the description for you to go and see how it works. But essentially, you are punching in your details, then using the activity multiplier to see how many calories you should be eating. But this is typically for maintenance. So now we have to take your goal into consideration. <laughs> Now, what should you change with your calories depending on your goal? If you're bulking, you need to be eating more than what you're burning, aka calorie surplus. And if you're cutting, you need to be eating less than what you're burning, aka calorie deficit. Now, these are terms I'm sure you've heard before, but how do you actually know how much of a surplus or deficit you should be in? It all comes down to trial and error. Start off small. Add or subtract 100 calories away from your maintenance calories depending on what your goal is. So if you're bulking, add 100 calories. If you're cutting, take away 100 calories. See how your body reacts and then take it from there. See, you'll come to find a lot about nutrition is trial and error. But you need to start somewhere and everything we're discussing in this video will help you do that. But once you have the basis, it's about being patient and really understanding from experience what your body requires. Macros. Now, this is where it gets a bit more technical to an extent. Let's start with your protein. Protein is essential for growth and repair. <sighs> A great basis is one gram of protein per pound of body weight. That's literally it. Examples of protein sources include chicken, fish, and eggs. Fats. Don't be scared of the name. Fats are essential as part of a healthy, balanced diet. Now, you have two types of fats, polyunsaturated and saturated. Polyunsaturated fats are a type of dietary fat. It's one of the healthy ones that can be found in foods such as salmon, vegetable oils, and some nuts and seeds. Now, on the other hand, you have saturated fats. Let's just say these are the ones you want to try to avoid. Foods like butter, cakes, sausages. To put it simply, in an excessive amount of saturated fats in your diet can increase your cholesterol level, which in turn can increase your risk of heart disease. Typically, fats should make up around 15 to 25% of your diet. Carbohydrates. Ah, oh, the dreaded carbs. Everyone fears the carb and seems to think that they're gonna make you fat. Well, no. Carbs are extremely useful to have as part of your diet, especially if you're training on a regular basis. Having good carbs in your diet can literally help fuel your sessions. So how many carbs should you be having? Well, firstly, similar to fats, there are two types of carbs, simple and complex. Simple are the ones you kind of want to stay away from. They're found in things like sweets and cereals. And then complex are kind of the more good carbs that you want to be having as part of your diet, especially if you're training regularly. These include things like rice, oats, and fruit. Now, you know that you need one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you know that you need around 15 to 25 percent fats now in terms of your carbs they should basically just make up the remainder of your diet so whatever's left should be your carb intake now taking into consideration everything i've said about macros remember what i said before you don't want these to be fixed figures you want to be playing around with them and over time understanding what your body actually requires now how should your training change depending on your goal well it shouldn't you always want to be prioritizing progressive overload in order to stimulate muscle growth progressive overload is essentially the concept where every Every time you go to the gym, you go harder than you did the last time. Upping the intensity every time you work out is only going to benefit your muscle growth. This can literally be pushing more weight, pushing more reps, decreasing rest time, any form of improvement on your last session is progressive overload. Now, remember, life is about balance. So although at some points I've said that there are certain bad types of fats and bad types of carbs, you do want to be enjoying these as treats from time to time. But remember, dieting doesn't have to be boring. When you put that word diet into your head, I know a lot of you automatically think of chicken, rice and veg, but you can actually have delicious food. The key if you're trying to lose weight is simply a calorie deficit. You want to be eating less than what you're burning and that way you will lose weight over time just to finish this video off guys i just wanted to talk about tracking your progress i want you guys to all remember that achieving good results isn't going to happen just like that there's always going to be fluctuations and ups and downs along the journey but as long as you stay consistent over a long period of time i guarantee you that you will get the results you desire i hope you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up if you did make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in the next video